And heart disease is the number one killer of women in the United States. One in four women will die from heart disease. And so it's important to know how we can prevent it. Dr. Diane Yang from the American Heart Association is here to tell us about the Go Red Get Well campaign. She's here to talk to us all about what we need to know as women when we're going in for our yearly checks. And I know you're going to be a panelist at the Go Red for Women luncheon on Friday. Tell us what the big push is. That's correct. Um, the big push is really for women to get into their primary care doctors, to get in for that routine physical, to get in for that wellness exam at least once a year. So we could really go over your overall health, your general health, your medical history, and really look at your risk factors to prevent things from happening. So what sort of a checklist should you have when you go in for one of these visits? You really kind of want to um, talk about your medical history, including the medicines that you're taking. That includes over-the-counter supplements, herbs. A lot of people are on these bioidentical hormones, and those are kind of good things to talk about, whether it's actually worth taking them, whether they're not worth taking. You want to discuss diet and exercise, which is obviously one of the most important things to taking care of your health. You want to talk about family history, because if there are things that run in your family, you want to know, are you at higher risk for them? You want to talk about smoking, alcohol use, and maybe do some lab work to look at your cholesterol, your sugars, and things like that to make sure that we are really preventing things from happening. Now, I know that some people may be under the mistaken assumption that this is only something that happens later in life. That's correct. A lot of people think that, oh, I'm really young and, you know, I'm feeling good right now, so I don't have to see my doctor. But I really want to push people to get in at a younger age. After you're done with pediatrics, go see your primary care provider. Get in once a year so that before signs come up, before symptoms come up, that you're talking about these things with your doctor. And what would a sign or a symptom be? Sometimes it's simple, with, with heart disease in women, sometimes it's simple things like chest pain, shortness of breath, but a lot, a lot of times it's women who just feel under the weather, sometimes it's indigestion. Um, there are a lot of silent symptoms that you want to discuss with your doctor. Okay, and I know, you know, as women, a lot of people, they take care of their husbands or their children, yes. and they sort of put off care for themselves. And what would your message be? I think we as humans and we as women, we try to balance a lot in our lives. And the important thing to remember is that you have to take care of yourselves so that you can take care of other people that are important to you. All right, thanks so much for coming in. Hopefully that message was heard this morning. And we do want to let you know that the Go Red for Women luncheon is this Friday over at the Ritz-Carlton Denver. It starts at noon. There will be a panel of experts there talking about women's heart health and the importance of visiting your primary care provider. You can find more information in the Daybreak section of our website, kwgn.com. Tom? Right. Thank you very much.